We gather here at St. Mary Mattingly Settlement for quite the celebration of life and love. Sarah and Cole, this is a wonderful moment. Family and friends were actually united all over the world uh, in our hearts with all the grace and the blessings and the love of Jesus that's in our hearts. And so as we begin all of our prayers, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O oh God, who in creating the human race willed that man and wife should be one, join, we pray, in a bond of inseparable love these your servants who are to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become, by your grace, witnesses to charity itself. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said, It is not good for the man to be alone. <clears throat> I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. He, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called, each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle and all the birds of the air and all the wild animals. But none, of the, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. The Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife. And the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsor of Psalm. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as heritage. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our Lord is waiting, our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. Let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the holy ones, exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate, associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be concerned for what is noble in the sight of all. If possible, on your part, live at peace with all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> A 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This truly is a celebration. Uh, Cole and Sarah uh, came together with the family last evening uh, to Holy Mass here at St. Mary's. Uh, They are very much a part of the parish up there, St. James in Cleveland, Ohio, and I have been very much a part of the family uh, these last years that I've been pastor here. Uh, It is truly a celebration. It is a moment of grace. You know, family life is so important, and your support, your love, uh, your coming together to say, you know, we're behind you 100%. Uh, We want to share that which is most basic, most uh, stable in our lives. And of course, the sacrament of marriage goes clear back to the book of Genesis. Uh, God made them male and female. God created uh, Adam and Eve in his own image and likeness. And so we are created good. Uh, We are created uh, very beautifully. Uh, Sin entered the world, and that's why Jesus came to save us. His name means Yahweh saves. And so what he wants to do is not ever to put us down, but to lift us up, uh, to raise us up. The relationship between Jesus and the church is a spousal relationship, uh, very powerful, husband and wife. The first miracle that Jesus had was at the wedding feast of Cana uh, there in Galilee. Uh, He was 30 years old, you know, they didn't have any wine. Uh, The jars were empty. And that's very interesting because Back in those days, uh, those jars, six stone jars, each holding 20 to 30 gallons, should have been filled with water uh, because they had the ritual purifications. They were empty. Somehow, uh, the Spirit of God had left some of these rituals. They were just empty. Uh, They weren't from the heart. And so the same in the temple. Uh, God had left. That's why John the Baptist was out in the desert. His dad was, you know, the priest. His mom was of the priestly clan, uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth. And so he baptized. And so these sacraments that they share, uh, Cole and Sarah, the sacrament of baptism and the sacrament of Eucharist, and now the sacrament of marriage, of holy matrimony. You know, I think that as we reflect on this, um, this wonderful day is the culmination of Lots of little steps, lots of little journeys, you know, all through life. And each season of our life, every seven years, brings new insights, new vigor. Um, They have been together for a very long time, pretty much dating nine years. That's a long time to, uh, you know, and so the seven-year itch is out of the system, so, you know, we don't have to worry about that. (laughs) Uh, And so what we see here today is you know, solid. Um, It is basically just so much. Lots is going to unfold in the next uh, few months, and that's exciting for all of us. They will be halfway around the world uh, as things are uh, looking like they're going to happen. And, you know, that is neat. I've been to London, uh, visited that beautiful city, Um, you know, the British Isles. Uh, It's a a neat part of the, the world. And so, in a very special way, um, Brian, Lisa, you got your kids all over the place. I mean, you're going to have them in three different destinations here uh, before long. And, and that's all right, because home is where the heart is. 
and the heart is big with all of you. You know, the sacred heart of Jesus, the divine mercy, the, the beautiful uh, opening, the immaculate heart of Mary. Um, you know, our heart is the seed of our soul. The heart is where uh, we have to have it beaten in order uh, to be alive, but it also symbolizes that which is the deepest part of ourselves. You know, uh, that is something. St. Uh, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, little prince, said it's only with the heart that one sees rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. And that's why we feel so much love. This little church has been here since 1856. And these bricks, they were made right down here in the creek uh, by our ancestors a long time ago. They laid them without cranes, uh, without all the sophisticated uh, equipment. Uh, they built this place. It hasn't even shifted a sixteenth of an inch in all these years. They did it right. They built it solid, and they built it on Jesus Christ. If you notice the outside brickwork, um, every seventh uh, layer, the bricks are turned sideways. Now, part of that, the walls are this thick. Part of that's to reinforce the structure. But also, part of it is about the seven sacraments, um, the sacraments that nourish, give life, uh, strengthen us, the several corporal works of mercy, the seven spiritual works of mercy, the days that Jesus, uh, God, rested on the seventh day, um, you know, the holy day, the Sunday, where we receive uh, communion, where we receive the Eucharist. Eucharist, we believe, is the body and blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. Uh, it nourishes us on our way. And we have a lot of little customs. Uh, very beautifully, um, at the masses this weekend, the priest and the deacon wore the rose color. This is a weekend of celebration. Uh, Lent is halfway completed. Uh, we're looking forward to Easter and Holy Week. I just came uh, from being with all the folks that are going to be uh, received into the Catholic Church, received their first communion, their confirmation. Uh, and it's a very special time that the church gathers. It's also a time that we know uh, the beautiful story that we heard this weekend of the prodigal son. Uh, you know, God's unfathomable love for us, uh, his reaching out to us. We think that we're seeking God. Uh, we might think we are. We are, I hope. But God is searching us out like the hound of heaven, uh, trying to find us, trying to discover us. And he does that in every period of our life. And that's what we're all about here today. I now invite Sarah and Cole to the altar of God and invite their uh, uh, best man and maid of honor, Sarah and Ben, to come forward with them. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and this community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Cole and Sarah, have you come here freely here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Cole, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I, Cole, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. In good times and in bad, in, good times and in, bad. In, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you, to love you, and honor you. All, the days of my life. all the days of my life. 
I, Sarah, take you cold to be my husband. I, Sarah, take you cold to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before God and his church. God has blessed you and has consecrated you. And what we have blessed here on earth may be blessed in eternity for all times and all ages. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, bless these rings which we bless in your name so that those who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other, abide in peace and in your will, and live always in mutual charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sarah, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Sarah, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Cole, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Cole, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We now invite all of you to stand as we continue with our prayers. Our answer is, Lord, hear our prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate Cole and Sarah, the love of our sister and our brother, let us commend them to the Lord. That these faithful Christians, Cole and Sarah, newly joined in holy matrimony, may always enjoy health and well-being, let us pray to the Lord that they be granted perfect and fruitful love, peace, and strength, and that they bear faithful witness to the name of Christian. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Christian people may grow in virtue day by day, and that all who are burdened by any need may receive the help of grace from above. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the grace of the sacrament will be renewed by the Holy Spirit in all married persons here present. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Graciously pour out upon this husband and wife, O Lord, the spirit of your love, to make them one heart and one soul, so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined, and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's be seated now, uh, and we're going to have a little sharing from Brian. father and like his father's mother has taught us there's a sign in his house his mother's house that says breathe so let's all take a breath <laughs> 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 it's been a whirlwind but I would like to thank father Lisa and I for all he has done to prepare soul Sarah and Cole for this most blessed day before I say, want to continue on, I, I do want to present Cole and Sarah with something that I think is pretty fitting. Statue of St. Joseph. St. Joseph was a carpenter. He's a carpenter. <laughs> I have a book <laughs> called The Carpenter, and I'd like to present it to you. It's one of my favorite books, and I know you'll enjoy it. We are so thankful for all the love of all of you today. And all of you have had, a, in a special way, a gift to Cole and Sarah. 
We thank you for your friendship and the role, again, that you've all had in this special day. Cole and Sarah are blessed with strong roots. They have been blessed, <clears throat> blessed with grandparents who in so many ways have helped enrich the soil that they are growing on. By the virtues of humility, humility, generosity, temperance, brotherly love, diligence, wisdom, and the importance of their Catholic faith. They have also been blessed with caring parents, we'll call that the trunk, who have tried in so many ways to teach them to become the best versions of themselves by feeding their by feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, and clothing the naked. We parents, Tammy, Mike, Scott, Lisa, and myself, have all in a special way tried to provide Cole and Sarah with gifts of love, understanding, counseling, encouragement, friendliness, the luck of the Irish, but most of all, to provide and give them the gift of life. So to keep things along the lines of this tree thing that I've started here, the branches can be the aunts and the uncles, the siblings, the friends, the coaches, who have all played an important role in providing Sarah and Cole with the importance of understanding, of joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, and courage. So thank you all for helping and preparing Sarah and Cole into what we are, they are receiving today. It's been a very special weekend. Cole, in a lot of ways, I know you were an outstanding baseball player, but you've hit a triple this weekend with Sacrament in receiving the uh, penance, receiving the Holy Eucharist, making your first communion, and obviously today, with your marriage. So now, Sarah and Cole, it is up to you and God to bear the fruit of this loving tree. Just remember, to always remember, Jesus, I trust in you. Good luck. As we close today, I also want to invite, Lisa and I would like to invite all of you to share uh, a late lunch with all of us at Pilaki Pocky. So I'll let Father finish up, and I think Father may. Sarah and Cole, uh, stand in front of the altar, and we're going to offer your love to God, and you're going to offer your blessings to us as we pray together and all stand the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, male and female, you created them, so that as husband and wife, united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who to reveal the great design you formed in your love, willed that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that in fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of Christ with his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out your right hand over these your servants, Sarah and Cole, we pray, and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds, the home they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessings your daughter Sarah, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home 
with a love that is pure and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on Cole, your servant, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband and provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Cole and Sarah, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I present to you for the very first time, Cole and Sarah Carpenter, filled with love and life and joy. The rest is up to you. She's going out into the world, and when she lands, it's going to be in another continent. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> oh, wasn't that sweet? Oh, my goodness. Aren't they precious? Oh, I'm telling you. They are. They're just absolutely just so much life and joy.